The eighth topic is about quadratic equations. Quadratic equation, as you can see, has power 2. The maximum power in any equation, if it is power 2, x power 2, then it's quadratic. If it is just x, it's linear. If it is x to the power 3, it becomes cubic, and so on and so forth. So now, over here, this is a quadratic equation. But in this first three problems, they have also given the graphs to you. Now, it's very easy to find which is the solutions. Whenever the graph touches or cuts or intercepts the x-axis, that is a solution. Now, see over here, it touches the x-axis. This is a solution. This is a solution. Over here, there's only one point. This is the solution. But what about over here? Here you can see there is no real solutions because it does not touch the x-axis. See, over here there would be no real solutions, whereas over here it is minus 2 and 5. And over here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. That's how we find. Or otherwise, you can use your calculator directly to solve it. That is mod 5. And you can see this is power 2. Where is power 2 over here? x power 2 in the option 3. So all you need to do is type in the coefficients. First, before x squared, it's 1. And before x, it is 2. And lastly, the number constant is 3. Remember, all the coefficients must be inside. And it must be equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. So for example, I'll just show you mod phi. And if when before pressing 3, the standard form is there. Can you see it? ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The right side must be equal to 0. So if there is any number, take it inside over here and then solve it up. So it is simply 1, 2, and 3. And the answer over here is not a real number. You can see there is a solution with i. i is imaginary number. It's not real. So we don't have proper solutions. But as let's try the next one. 1, minus 3, and minus 10. Over here, you will get the solutions as one, one of the solution was 5, and one more was minus 2. You can uh, rechange it. It's fine, because both are x itself. One was minus 2, and one was 5. And over here, last one, same as just now, minus 1, minus 8, and minus 16. And now we get minus 4 only. See, you can see it's only x, because there's only one solution. In the other case, it was x1 and x2. So this is how we can easily solve. And even over here, you can directly solve it. Say, for example, just put it in the calculator. It is 1 minus 10 and 21. The solution x1 was 7 and x2 was 3. So two solutions. Even you can graph it and then find the solution. It's just the same thing. Now, um, Either way, is the main thing, the solution over here is 3,7. So this is how we do it. This is to find the equation directly. So this is your answers. So you will have many answers. If it is graphing, we will use the graphing method, which we generally do. There are various graphing methods, either the table method or from the solutions or even using calculator, you can easily find the points. So it's up to you. Now, similarly over here, you can directly put it in the value, uh, put it over here. Say, for example, let me do this. Mod 5, 3. It'll be 1, 2, and 3. Again, we got an imaginary number. That means there is no real solutions. Whereas all the other times, if you say, for example, see over here, if you put this, you will get proper answers. So it's very simple and easy. Do it by yourself, then check the solution over here.